I just finished watching King of the Table. I have to say it was a little bit underwhelming with most of the matches being pretty one-sided. Uh, and especially the Auden versus Korean Hulk match, that match was supremely uh, anticlimactic. I mean, a lot of people were saying this would potentially be a close match and it was just like a s absolute snooze fest. Uh, obviously Auden just way too much hand control. I mean, the, the Korean dude couldn't even get in the match. It was like, there was just nothing to watch there, to be honest. Uh, so as far as the predictions, I got all the predictions correct, except for the first one, Casper Sinica versus uh, Nidalin Hristov. I didn't really know who the guy was, but definitely a good performance from him. So um, that was good. As far as other standout matches, I think RVJ versus Nugo. I picked Nugo to win and that was completely dominant. It was shocking for me to see RVJ up there. It looked like he didn't even want to be competing. It looked like he was sleeping the whole time. I didn't see the intensity that we're used to seeing in some of the past matches with RVJ, such as in the WAL, where he would get all excited and just really get intense. It looked like he didn't even want to be there, to be honest. But, I mean, maybe he was uh, in his head about the aggression of Nugo because Nugo just really brought everything. And that guy is an incredible athlete to watch. As far as other standout matches, I would say um, Morozov completely dismantling Camille on the right arm by staying inside enough to not overpronate when Camille was pressing so that he's able to keep Camille out um, from finishing the match. When Because if you saw in round two, uh, Morozov kind of went for the outside move and Camille was able to sink his shoulder behind it, but then once Morozov was able to kind of do a dragging hook, then Camille had nothing for him on the right. But we saw that Camille's left seems to be a lot stronger. He beat Corey West pretty convincingly. That was, that was another good match. Um, although, again, one-sided. Most of these matches were one-sided. 20 bucks, and most of them were one-sided. Devin versus Leonidas, not even close. Not even, I mean... Might as well have been just a, a regular video of Devin just training with people because he was just training up there. Just uh, wasn't even wasn't even close. Um, I would say the closest match that was entertaining was Svetkov versus uh, Kalinichenko with Kalinichenko going for that press. And especially when they basically the strap came undone, but still Georgi Svetkov's hand was just too much. And it still was pretty one sided, to be honest. Kalinchenko couldn't do too, too much with that wrist back, although he did put up a good fight. But overall, pretty entertaining. Was unfortunate that some of the matches were so one-sided. We didn't get to see any wars or anything like that. But, you know, I love Armas. I love watching these events. What do you guys think about these matches? Let me know in the comment section of this video. I'm curious what you guys saw about that match with Auden and who should he face next. I'm thinking someone who is actually committed to the sport like seriously committed as an arm wrestler. Um, I think people would want to see that more because man, that match was just a snooze fest. Just the other dude couldn't even get in the match. Same with Leonidas, couldn't even get in the match, just an exhibition, but still very entertaining. I love it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also hit like and subscribe, I'm out.